Hello and welcome today to evening prayer. If you have a prayer book with you, we're going to start on page 115. Let us take a moment to center ourselves before we begin. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins to God, ourselves, and our neighbors. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us of our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm today is Psalm 116 and 117. And in your prayer book, they're found on page 759. Let us say this together. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice of my supplications, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I call upon him. The cords of death entangled me. The grip of the grave took hold over me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocents. I was brought very low, and he helped me. Turn against to your rest, O oh my Lord. For the Lord has treated me well. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. I believe even when I said, I have been brought very low. In my distress I said, no one can be trusted. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Praise to the Lord, all you nations. Laud him, all you peoples. For his loving kindness toward us is great 
and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Glory, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Reading of the book of John. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphan. I am, not, I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will know that I am, my, I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be my beloved, will be loved by my Father and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our service will continue on page 119 with the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From then this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your ways be known upon the earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We'll do the colic for Friday. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in your faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, and shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us say the great thanksgiving together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all the world we have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving us ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord, Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be our honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believe in through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And I pray that you have a warm and peaceful weekend and we're looking forward to seeing you on sunday either in person at eight o'clock and ten or online until then peace be with you <laughs>